Thank you for joining. My name is Thomas Lois. I'm the product manager for APM reliability, including the predictive diagnostics and smart signal product line. So today, what we're going to talk about is forecasting and time to action. And this is on our smart signal premise product. What the, the value is and what our customers have been kind of asking us is when I get an alert from smart signal, how much time do I have until it actually hits an alarm limit? and someone has to take some kind of action. Can you give me a better understanding and help me make better decisions before things degradate further? All right, so this is our first introduction into forecasting capabilities in Smart Signal. Our customers can look at the alarms that are generated from there. They can diagnose them and then have the software look at creating forecasting trends for you without any coding to see, you know, am I months, weeks, days away from hitting some kind of alarm limit? So this is applicable right now for the smart signal premise product. The value is really it's understanding time to action to understand how much time do you actually have from now from when the sensor is deviating from that model initially and you get some kind of early indication based on the, the modeling and engine that's running around it too. But then being able to look at better preparedness around planning for potential failures, understanding maybe there's something that we could do in corrective action or if it could run into the planned outage for the asset and get a better time contextualization around things. So when I open up the smart signal premise product as well in our system here, well, this is where our alerts come in and are generated. And if I look into any one of these ones, so if I look at my pump performance loss and I go in just to first into diagnosing any of these issues, right? These are the sensors that appear for me from a uh, pump performance vibrations and everything else that's increasing around here. And so what the forecasting capability allows us to do is first, we're going to determine you know, which of these ones are kind of more critical in terms of have an impact my asset. So the pump efficiency may not, but you know, the vibrations definitely will, and there will definitely be some kind of trip points around that one. So if I choose on the chart type and I go ahead and apply maybe a linear forecast around here too, from a, a specific time interval, and I train the model real quickly just doing a drag and drop of the software through the interface of it. We're looking at a window of about three days of what we trained the model on, which is on the left hand side over here. This is where we begin that forecast period of it. And this vibration, although it's currently running at around two mils of vibration, we have an alarm limit that's set to four mils of vibration. So really what this forecast allows us to do is I'm increasing at a certain rate if nothing else changes in the system and no other changes happen. If it continued to degrade at the same rate as it is, you know, within 19 days, plus or minus uh, confidence interval around here, we have a better understanding is, do I need to maybe change the, the flow to the pump? Do I need to change the speed? Can I take some kind of other actions to bring this vibration down before it may hit that sensor trip alarm on that vibration? And we could always double click on the charts, look at it in from a different perspective and give us a little bit easier way of viewing that confidence band itself. So if we go and zoom into here within that 18 days, within that 19 days, you know, we can see that there's a range of where this may or may not occur based on current conditions of the pump. You know, we're looking at the data, we're diagnosing them based on the failure modes that are built in into the blueprints and then adding this forecasting capability. This really helps to drive a better understanding around the time period of when it may hit, when it may actually need to take some kind of action. And we always want to address these issues before they occur to prevent any reactive maintenance from occurring. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please go ahead and feel free to reach out to any of your GE representatives.